This short video deals with an ethical aspect of AI. And it's something that I think is important for all of us to really think about and start to understand that there's lots of gray areas associated with AI. But at the very least, it's important for us to have some awareness and then for us to think about these things as well as to pose them to our students and to have them think about it because that is a great and powerful way to help develop their critical thinking. So this deals with the idea of the data that AI is using in order to develop its large language models, uh, specifically OpenAI, right? They're, they're sort of the, the main players. Here we go in looking at the, the many different lawsuits that are going on right now because OpenAI has used all this data throughout the internet without permissions from a lot of those different sources. Initially, you have to think that, oh, okay, this is, this is wrong. If they don't have permission to do something, then they can't just be taking it. Uh, on some levels, yes and no, because if someone is simply reading a book, well, they're observing that and they're learning from that, regardless of where that book is, because yes, it's copyrighted material, but I could have checked it out from library. Uh, I could have read it at a bookstore. So now there's a little bit of gray area there, right? Because they're not regurgitating it word for word. No, it's just simply being used as a training aspect. So that's an argument that could be made. Now, another argument that OpenAI is specifically making about this uh, comes from, from a journal here. I, I wanna read sp sp specifically what it states. This is from AI News. And it states that OpenAI made waves this week with its bold assertion to a UK parliamentary committee that it would be impossible to develop today's leading AI systems without using vast amounts of copyrighted material. In written testimony, OpenAI stated that between expansive copyright laws and the ubiquity of protected online content, virtually every sort of human expression would be off limits for training data from news articles to forum comments to digital images, little online content can be utilized freely and legally. According to OpenAI, attempts to create capable AI while avoiding copyright infringement would fail. Limiting training data to public domain books and drawings created more than a century ago would not provide AI systems that meet the needs of today's citizens. So that's an interesting take, and it does make a lot of sense in that if we want uh, an AI that has modern capabilities, modern understanding, well, it needs to be trained on modern data. So now we have, again, this, uh, this situation where in order for it to, to be this capable AI, it needs access to, to everything, basically, in order to be able to give us this type of information, this modern, up-to-date, current information. So as a society, we really need to be thinking about that as far as copyright. AI, open AI, they're working with a lot of different publishers to try and come up with you know, payments that they'll give them for access to some of that, but that won't cover everything throughout the entire internet. So it's going to be something to really think about. Again, to analyze as far as the ethical implications, whether that's right, that's wrong, what about the greater good, all these things really need to come into play. And again, there can be multiple truths. So this is right and so is this, but what about the overall right and wrong of this? Uh, I don't have all the answers, but I wanna bring this out so that this is something that we continually talk about uh, here with academics. But again, this is something really important that should be brought up to the students as well. Have them really think about this, come up with pros and cons, some ideas that really support this, some ideas that might be against this. This is where critical thinking comes in. This is where deep learning comes in by having some more uh, emotional connection to this and then by thinking about this on a deeper level for both sides because there are arguments to be made for both sides. So by looking deeper into the, the ethical aspects of, of open AI, of AI in general, how generative AI has developed and will continue to develop, that really will help students and will help academia in general. And remember, Learning is for life. Thank you. And if you've made it this far and you've gotten some good use out of this content, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. I really appreciate it.